Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks for watching another video. If you could, uh, below hit the like and subscribe button for me. Trying to uh, grow this channel, but uh, I'll be coming out with more stuff like this, hopefully, and uh, just different videos all doing with hunting. Today's video I'm going to be sharing on backpack hunting and basically, you know, DIY, do-it-yourself, uh, public land, um, you know, wilderness hunting hunting as far away from other hunters as you can and uh, some of the gear that I've used in the past along with my dad and some of our experiences and I know just personally from you know stuff that I carried uh, things that I wish that I wouldn't have carried or, or vice versa as far as weight and kind of my setup so uh, behind me here uh, you can kind of see some of our setups this here is a uh, pack frame and that's the Cabela's uh, pack frame. I believe, if I remember correct, I think it's somewhere around a 5,500 cubic inch pack frame. It's a really big one. I debated on buying, I think they had one around 41 or 4,300. And it was only a little bit more money to get the bigger one. I said, you know what, I'd rather have a little bit more room than not enough. Uh, but that's the pack frame that I carried. My dad has the Horn Hunter and his has a built-in frame it's uh, built into the backpack itself it's not actually a physical frame uh, you know it's kind of got a hard back on it but uh, it works really well for him you can see you know he's got that elk head that uh, you know he ended up killing with his bow uh, we did public land we've got a video um, on our YouTube channel uh, elk hunting and that elk is on there and you can see the footage from that if you want to check that out uh, I've got you know all kinds of different stuff here's a bugle tube that I used uh, this was the tube that I was using when I called uh, this bull in for my dad uh, he's got a Rocky Mountain tube but this is kind of our setups kind of some of the stuff we took uh, as far as for our water we used a Sawyer's purification and uh, basically, you know, they, there's all kinds of creeks and streams and stuff. So with that being said, you know, we would have two different uh, bags. We would have a clean water bag and then a dirty water bag. So we would, you know, basically put our water through one bag, go through the sawyers, and then put all our clean water in one bag. That way, you know, we would have clean, good drinking water. You can buy tablets. That would be an option, but just... You know, the little blue and white Sawyer's purification deals, what we bought, you can buy them pretty much anywhere, like REI or Cabela's or or online. But uh, right here, as far as eating, this was the uh, jet boil. Uh, you know, you got your little propane tank, you know, put this joker on there. And, uh, you know, we would do uh, Mountain House was uh, really good there's some good mountain house stuff we did some Idaho potatoes uh, we ended up killing this bull on the first day so we had good elk meat so uh, we were able to cook that over the fire you know salt and pepper clean it up and uh, it was really good as far as our our camping um, we had a two-man tent I'll try to put a picture in now that was the uh, Kelty I'm not sure which version that was but you know, for two people, there was plenty of room instead of having to set up multiple tents and all that. Uh, you know, we'd just get done hunting and crash at night. But uh, it worked really good. As far as our uh, sleeping arrangements, we had, uh, these are the uh, Air Corps insulated uh, pads. And then that's what we both used, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, as far as a pack our uh, a sleeping bag this is the Cabela's XPG extreme performance gear that was what I bought for my sleeping bag and my dad had the ignite down uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit uh, long right uh, Kelty and uh, that was his sleeping bag now something we noticed the difference you know I'm about 5'11 you know around 205 pounds which I was a little bit smaller when when I went but uh, you know my dad he's a pretty big dude you know he's approaching you know he's over 6'3 he's you know close to 6'4 so he's a really big tall uh, guy 
And what he noticed was that Kelty, both of these are mummy style, uh, you know, uh, sleeping bags. And with that Kelty, it was just too small. It was a little bit too short for my dad, real tight and small where the Cabela's XPG, if you're a little bit bigger guy, that'll probably work out better. So ended up what we did, you know, he was just wrestling fighting couldn't hardly sleep could barely zip the bag up i was like hey do you want to switch bags he's like yes i do thank you let's do it so ended up i used the uh, kelty you know it kept me warm it was uh probably 60 during the day down in the 20s and 30s at night uh, a couple of things i will say about it i took a lot of clothes probably more than i needed uh which is good i mean you need you know several layers layering is the way to go because when you're walking and getting after those elk, it gets really hot. Uh, what I did, you know, I had a little backpack that I would do as my day pack. And this was my pack frame, which we packed in. So uh, the first night we were there, we ended up driving in as far as we could all the way to the dead end of the road. Parked the truck there, set up camp there. And... Uh, you know, we went out the next morning and ended up killing that bull around noon. Uh, pretty awesome hunt. But later on, we ended up just wanting to explore and stuff. There was, uh, you know, creeks and and uh, uh, different lakes or whatever. And so what we did is we went way on back. And I think we ended up, it said it was five miles, but I think that's the way a crow flies when you're, you know, weaving and curving, going up and down hills and around. Stuff. It was a pretty good trek in there, but uh, we packed this in. I think I was carrying 64 pounds is what my pack weighed when we were going in there, and that was probably heavier. You know, next time I'll probably go, you know, try to get down to that 40 or 50 pound mark. Uh, but I, I had way too many clothes. Uh, I think I had, you know, as far as like underwear and stuff and socks, I probably had four or five pairs. Which now, you know, knowing and doing it in the past, uh, Colorado, the air is so thin, you can basically dry all your clothes uh, basically in a couple hours. So we would wash our clothes in the creek. Uh, we would take a rope and hang them between two trees, hang it out to dry, and within a couple hours, your stuff dries. So I would definitely, you know, maybe only take two or three pairs, you know, wear one and then have two extras maybe. That way, if you get lazy or tired in a day and you can't wash them, you can just wait till the next day. But, uh, you know, your clothes dry out really quick. Uh, one thing that I took with me was this Timber Ridge uh, hunting gear, just, you know, the little uh, tri seat. Uh, it was awesome to have, you know, sitting at the campfire and stuff, but this thing weighs, you know, probably three to four pounds, if not more. It's a pretty heavy chair. It's nice. It has a backrest and all that, but... That is one thing that I would not carry just because it's bulky, makes noise, it's heavy, it's just aggravating. I'd rather sit on a stump or a log or something. I would not carry that with me. But, uh, you know, as far as food, uh, my dad had prepared a lot of uh, dehydrated stuff. I would definitely take a lot of deer jerky or elk jerky, whatever you've got. Uh, that's really good. Uh, you know, make sure you have plenty of water. Uh, something else, the Wilderness Athlete uh, has some really cool stuff called Hydrate and Recovery. It's a powder mix. What we would do is, you know, drink water throughout the day to make sure we were staying hydrated. But we would also mix that. You put it in your water, shake it up, drink it. It just helps you recover. Uh, I would start taking that probably a week or two, week, week and a half, maybe two weeks before you go. That way it just helps you stay hydrated, recover. Uh, one thing I will say, you know, I was sore. I felt like I got run over by a train after packing that elk out, uh, of my dad's, you know, we all, you know, put stuff on our bag and backpacked it out, but I'll put some pictures of my pack frame on me, uh, what it looked like. And then I'll also, you know, put a picture of my dad's pack frame. But it worked out really well, uh, you know, the jet boil is great because you can cook, you know, mountain house or whatever. It's real quick, easy to do, uh, you know, uh, definitely have your sleeping bags. One thing you'll want is a sleeping pad that helps 
uh, you know, where your back isn't as sore, but then also, you know, the more that you have material between you and the earth, the warmer you will be. It did get chilly at night, but it wasn't unbearable. But, uh, you know, do your research, uh, find what works best for you. Uh, this pack was too big for me. Uh, next time I would maybe go a little bit lighter and smaller. Uh, I think I might have packed out, you know, 70 or 80 pounds when packing meat out, which some guys can go with more. Uh, I didn't want to, you know, wear myself out and kill myself doing it, but it's definitely a lot harder going downhill packing weight than uphill. Uphill is no problem, but when you're going downhill with all that extra weight, it's uh, kind of hard on the knees and uh, you know, you're trying to slow yourself down plus all that extra weight. So uh, just be mindful of that. Don't overdo yourself. It's always better to be safe. Uh, my dad, he had uh, some trekking sticks that he used and uh, that really helps out a lot too. But if you've got any questions, you know, hit me up on Facebook or uh, message me here on this YouTube channel and I'll try to answer any questions or anything I've got. Uh, you know, just off the top of my head, just a brief, easy review uh, it's awesome to do I would definitely try to go if you can but uh, you know elk hunting is amazing uh, mule deer hunting is awesome too you get a chance to do that we seen mule deer while we were out there in Colorado we didn't have a tag or anything like that I got this buck in South Dakota uh, this elk comes from Colorado but uh, you know overall it's uh, awesome to do you know, uh, follow me, you know, hunting the Missouri uh, with all underscores and then Ryan Lehman. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share this to some of your buddies. Y'all have a, a good time. You know, hunting season September is right around the corner. So, you know, start buying your gear, doing your research and just find what works best for you. Uh, overall, I was really pleased. You know, uh, my dad had a lot of input and he had done a lot of research, which helped me. And then, uh, you know, uh, we were really pleased with, with our trip. And, uh, you know, he's went on a couple more trips. If uh, you got any questions that I can't answer, I'm sure, you know, he's got a little more experience in the backpack style mountain hunting and stuff like that. But uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.